Hey, Trevor Matthews here again with another two minutes with Trevor. Today I want to talk about oil slugging, specifically oil slugging and hermetic compressors. Uh, as you can see back here, this is a hermetic recip compressor, and this is the original compressor in a system. But if you work on a system with no sight glass, how do you know how much oil is in there? Oil is really one of the hardest things to troubleshoot. It was for me anyway when I was in the field. One thing that you need to be aware of is that if you have a failure with a compressor that doesn't have a sight glass, you need to measure that oil. I never did it in the field because I didn't know. Because this is what could happen. You have one failure. All of a sudden, the second compressor goes in and then you have another failure. Maybe this failure, the first failure was from a seized compressor because there was no oil getting back to the compressor. Maybe the second was a seized one too, that oil is logging in the system. But by the third compressor, if you don't know how much oil is in that system, you put a new compressor in, that oil starts to log again somewhere in the system, maybe in the evaporator, and all of a sudden you have a defrost, all that oil comes back and then smashes the compressor. So it's very important, anytime you're working with a compressor that does not have a, a sight glass, you need to measure the oil, and you can match that up to Copeland Mobile. So you scan the compressor, and it'll tell you how much oil should be in that compressor. What you need to do, if all of a sudden there is no oil in the compressor, don't assume that it's logged in the system. You need to walk around and see if there's a leak. If there was a leak, most likely that's where the oil uh, was. You put a new compressor in, you do not take any oil out. But if you pull a compressor out, there was no leaks, you can't find any oil anywhere, and all of a sudden you need it 42 ounces and there's only 10, you may want to think about removing some of the oil from that compressor. I'd love to hear your questions or comments. My name is Trevor Matthews. Let's get a conversation going.